Friends, I'm going to surprise you with the news I have for you today. The amazing announcement that the United States Social Security will be available to all of its recipients. Make sure to watch the entire video to get a complete picture of what's going on in Washington. News becomes a reality for the more than 65 million Americans who get Social Security benefits. Please remember to hit the like button. Your support would be greatly appreciated. And remember, it costs nothing to subscribe. Let's get started, friends. I'll tell you some fantastic news about Social Security today. 65 million Americans who receive benefits from this federal agency are set to have their lives changed, and ultimately, it means more money in people's pockets. We are all aware of Social Security and the unfortunate issues the country is currently dealing. We are all aware of the tremendous economic crisis the United States is currently undergoing on a daily basis, which affects millions of people. The most alarming part of this scenario is the lack of necessary financial resources. Unfortunately, many are no longer able to maintain their quality of living. Many persons in quest of companions ask Congress to amend the Social Security law. It appears like this is beginning to represent reality. Arizona Democrat Ruben Gallo has already formally submitted a bill to improve benefits and shorten the wait times for older citizens in the country. This legislation benefits seniors in Arizona and around the nation. Take a look at what it means for you. It modifies the Social Security cost of living adjustments to more precisely reflect the expenditures faced by seniors in Arizona and across the nation. We all know that Social Security boosts people's benefits every year. This rise is dependent on the country's inflation, so in other words, it gives them a little extra money. I'm going to describe it very simply so that everyone can understand me. To cover the cost of goods and services, which are regrettably becoming more expensive every day in this nation. Nevertheless, people have been grumbling for some time that the increase is just too much for them in the U.S., where nobody has been able to experience. They have been begging Congress to change the laws so they can receive the increase that all Americans, especially those on Social Security, have been waiting for and requesting for several years. If you enjoy our content, please consider making a donation. Don't forget to hit the thank you button. It would much benefit our channel. Because of the cost increases, Social Security recipients nationwide, not just in the state of persona, see a decline in the real value of their benefits. Advantages Congressman GGO stated that his new law increases the amount of money that Social Security claimants have in their pockets to pay their payments. Buy medication, and pay for housing costs. This is quite reasonable. Seniors throughout, including in Arizona, either had Congressman GGO was very happy to finally be presenting the bill in this country's Congress and saw something that I always like to underline since there are people who, regrettably, in this country qualify for Social Security payments. Continue to believe that Social Security recipients only ask the federal government for things and they get money each month. This is completely unfair to those who have worked their entire lives to earn the right to get benefits. The situation is quite different for them. Asking for a gift from having the authority for this nation's federal government to handle retirement benefits. Over 65 million Americans have earned disability benefits via their diligence and hard work. And receiving a monthly Social Security check is one way to do this. Most elderly people manage to get by. Before the good news that we need it to pay our bills for health and prescription co-payments was widely publicized by the media, Congressman GGO made this statement. This is also consistent with the statements made by the Arizona Retirement, Chapter 97. President, I want to clear up any confusion over the institution that is in charge of protecting the rights of senior citizens in this nation, which you may already be aware of. Combination Although he is a lawmaker from Washington, Congressman GGO represents the state of Arizona. Simply told, the congressman is from Arizona. And as you are well aware, it's crucial to highlight the state from where the congressman is from. The laws that this Congress authorizes are not only for the state of Arizona, but for the entire country. We are talking about a new law that would directly benefit all Social Security beneficiaries, but it's necessary to make this clear to prevent confusion among those who might think it's only applicable to the state of Arizona.
All over the country in the U.S., the Congressman Galo stated that it is critical that the Coca-Cola represent how inflation affects older people in order for us to be able to pay our bills and that the existing adjustment formula for the cost of living, known as COLA, does not account for the inflation that older people see in healthcare expenditures. The senior population feels the impact of inflation in their wallets as long as monthly social security checks are stable, meaning we have enough money to pay all of our expenses. Representative Gallus's plan would alter to ensure the tail and that it continues to be at the rate of inflation. The major issue, friends, is that there are two types of inflation. The real one, which we all experience whenever we shop at a grocery or purchase necessities, and the sadly reflected kind, which is caused by Washington politicians and legislation. The COLA formula, which is based on the consumer price index for urban wage earners from the prior year, adjusts Social Security benefits. Friends, the consumer price index. CPI accurately captures Americans' daily spending, but it annually fails to match the real-life experiences of all Americans on housing, consumer goods, and food. But it ignores other major costs like medical care, which they bear the majority of. The recently passed Benefit and Tail Boost Law specifically targets seniors in this nation and mandates changes from the Social Security Administration. Benefits according to a new methodology that would raise each beneficiary's Social Security payments significantly. This modification would take inflation into consideration. Furthermore, the law requires the Bureau of Labor Statistics to produce a monthly index that precisely measures the nation's inflation allowing the American Federation of Municipal and County State Employees and the Alliance for Retired Americans support closely watched Pennsylvania Democrat Bill Casey in order to track the evolution of the serious economic crisis of rising prices and the impact of inflation on all American citizens. Additionally introduced comparable legislation in the Senate. Hence, the law is already in effect in the U.S. Senate and House of Representatives. All that has to happen is for the senators and congressmen to decide to talk about the measure and hopefully quickly pass it. Representative GGO has a proven track record of supporting seniors in the state of Arizona. In March of this year, the representative helped numerous seniors in the state of Arizona by introducing legislation that will hopefully alleviate their financial hardships. Push the Social Security Administration Commission for information claiming that some Americans might have received sizable fines from the U.S. Social Security without being notified. The U.S. government essentially intended to collect money from all of these recipients of benefits due to an error on the part of the Social Security Administration, and they wanted everyone to basically return all of the money that the beneficiaries most likely no longer even have as a result of the battle that Representative Lego had with Social Security. Of course, this was done for the sake of all beneficiaries in an effort to try and mitigate this mistake that the beneficiaries themselves had not made, but was made by the administration itself. In December, bipartisan legislation was introduced by Congressman GGO and Representative Garrett Grav, a Republican from Louisiana, to limit the length of the Social Security Administration's 10 years of excessive payments, shielding 1.4 million Arizona Social Security beneficiaries from the excessive burden of having to return these life-saving money that may result from mistakes made by the Social Security Administration. I sincerely hope you would subscribe, like, and share this video in order to help spread the word and keep everyone updated.